Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week, uh, or sorry, the month of April 2024. I went ahead and shuffle the cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. We start off with the overall energy, break it down week by week. So let's get started here, Gemini. Eight of Wands is your overall energy. Boy, oh boy, you better get used to um, some movement happening. But Gemini's usually all up for movement. And uh, there's a lot going on here to, for this to be your overall energy. There could be a lot of communication, like crazy communication happening here. And um, this is also love, Arrows of Love Find Their Mark. Some of you could be... Um, perhaps meeting somebody this month and the communication is just flowing both ways, um, you know, via text, via email, via messenger. Uh, everything is just going, 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 phone calls, uh, travel as well. Sometimes this can indicate sudden travel. Maybe some of you are uh, going to be traveling a lot this month. For others of you, this could be really good news. If you just started in business for yourself, this can indicate a lot of new clients, a lot of sales. If you're in sales, uh, if you put your resume out there, there could be a lot of, um, you know, people getting back to you. Maybe just a lot of uh, communication. And Gemini, you are the sign of communication. So you just love it. And it's fast moving um, energy too. So you'll be really, really liking this energy in the month of April. Your first week, we have the King of Swords in the upright position, rooted down by the Eight of Swords. Hmm. King of Swords is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is you uh, coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you have some serious conversations that need to take place coming right into the month. You're like, I need to get this stuff off my chest. I need to get this stuff, you know, clarified. Sometimes this can indicate dealing with serious matters, such as legal matters or surgical matters, those kinds of things. So some of you could be clearing something up. Uh, sometimes the King of Swords can represent, if it's not representing an actual air sign, it could be somebody uh, in the legal uh, field. This could be somebody you're dealing with who's a lawyer. This can sometimes come up as a police officer, a judge, uh, an arbitrator, somebody like that. That's bringing important information that you need to deal with, you need to pay attention to. A surgeon could be setting up for some type of surgery, things like that. Now it's rooting down here with the Eight of Swords in the upright position, which is a card that represents um, feeling restricted. So this could be that there's some news or information that's coming through. It's making you feel restricted because the Eight of Swords is all about feeling hemmed in, right? Where we can't seem to find that escape route. So there could be in a, a situation, a legal situation, a medical situation or something that there's no escaping. And you could be feeling like, oh no, I have things to do. Gemini doesn't like to have to put things off. So, and it's going to be a very busy month for you. So you could be being told that there's, um, there's restrictions. Now it could be legal restrictions. It could be, uh, if you're traveling a lot, there could be something going on with that. This can also um, indicate that there's more and more people talking, right? This is a lot of people around you talking, throwing in their two cents, kind of making it feel wor worse. This can be overthinking a situation where we're thinking, 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 and making ourselves feel trapped. So be careful with that energy in week one. The nine of swords follows it in week two. So this is a feeling of, of of uh, losing sleep because we're actually overactive. Now, Gemini is an air sign. Air signs tend to overthink things. Uh, the mind is never stopping. You process everything through your mind. So be careful. There's important information coming in right off the hop, right at the beginning of the month for you. A lot of things are being said here and it's causing you a great deal of anxiety. But keep in mind the tower here is in the reverse position that's rooting it down. The threat passes you by. So this is really good news. Whatever you're being told here, Gemini, in the beginning. See, remember, this is also your energy, this King of Swords in the upright. Just make sure you communicate clearly. Because if you do that, no matter how hemmed in you may feel or how much anxiety you could be causing yourself, it turns out okay because the 
tower in reverse represents this. See, this is where the a worst case scenario where everything just kind of, you know, goes a little bit crazy. But when it's reversed, this is where the threat has passed us by. The tower's in reverse, indicating what you're, what's keeping you up at night, worrying about you you something like it, it seems honestly like there is something to worry about here in the first week gemini but it also looks like it turns out okay because the tower you're worried about the tower in the upright but it looks like the tower in reverse now this could be due to your actions maybe you take actions and stop this tower from happening it could be somebody else does. Maybe it's a legal situation that comes down that stops. It could be anything. Remember, these are just general reads. So leave a comment in the comment section below if this is making sense to you. But there is some kind of uh, situation that happens here that just, you know, it blows over. The tower's in reverse. So somebody else could be stepping in here. There could be a judgment that comes down here that changes things that you're really, really worried about, but then all of a sudden it ends up being okay. So that's good. I'm very happy for you that the first half of the month, it looks like there could be some stress here, but it turns out to be okay. Now, moving on to the second half. Now we're moving to week three. We have the Page of Pentacles in the upright rooted down by the Five of Swords reversed. Now, Page of Pentacles, we're dealing with Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is um, the tangible things in life. This can uh, this energy can be dealing with our finances, can be dealing with our um, our properties, our investments, uh, those kinds of things, the tangible things, right? Our homes. So sometimes this can indicate we're getting a message about one of these matters, or it can indicate that some of you are going into an apprenticeship role. Somebody else is stepping in, uh, or you're you're stepping in maybe for somebody else about to do something you've never done before. <laughs> It's, uh, but you're being trained to do it. That's the point of an apprenticeship role, right? But the page of uh, pentacles can also indicate you're getting a news, uh, you're getting some small information concerning this news insurance. I don't know why insurance keeps popping up. Oh, okay. Well, you know, one of you in the the comments here comment section is going to have to let me know because I just got a flash I think because I'm seeing all the water here and it could be an insurance claim maybe you think that something is going to happen to a property and it turns out it's it's not as bad as or maybe something happens and it turns out that it's okay because you are hearing from insurance company that you are covered so it could be for something like that. Five of Swords in reverse. This is coming out of conflict, either with others or with yourself. So this is like, if you were two minds of something, what to do or how to handle something, this is where you finally find, a, you know, a happy medium. You're no longer in conflict with the self. Interesting, interesting stuff. And then your last week, we have the Six of Cups in the upright, rooted down by the Ace of Pentacles upright. So the Six of Cups, this is the blast from the past card. This is nostalgic energy where we're feeling uh, a, really con a really strong connection to the past. And there could be some clarity coming through for some of you Geminis about the past or about a situation that happened. There's extreme clarity. Ace of uh, Swords is like a newfound clarity. This is about new, f new information coming to the surface. Um, yeah, what an interesting, interesting reading here. Yes, I do think for some of you, you're dealing with something that could have gone wrong, but it was like something saves the day here. Definitely something saves the day. Second half of the month, you're moving on from that. Maybe you get word that your business, your home, what have you, your insurance is covering something or something like that. Or you could be getting news or information about a job situation maybe coming out of conflict with a page of pentacles, uh, a young earth sign. 
So, wow, this is pretty heavy duty. <laughs> and then you leave the month um, on this, maybe connecting to a soulmate, some, meeting somebody new, feels like someone from the past. It could be connecting with old friends or um, maybe you get invited to some, could be a wedding or um, a, a reunion, family reunion or something like that. But there's a lot of clarity in uh, whatever's going on here in that last month. In that trip down memory lane, you'll be hearing something new or something that will make sense to you and it's like wow i never really looked at it like that before so we're going to move on now to your two zodiac cards one is for love and romance and the second is for career and finance so let's see love and romance we have cancer number four home <laughs> Home is where the love is for you, Gemini. Could be with or through a cancer. It could be something special happens in the first week, like on the 4th of April for you. And uh, let's see what it says here. Focus on your home and love. Nice. And then the second one is for career and finance. Let's see what's going on for career and finance. We have... Uh, moon in Aries, number 13, Courage. So it could be something um, important happens with your career or your financial situation on the 13th or when the moon is in Aries or with or through in Aries. So, so that's what I have for you, my dear Geminis. Wow, can't wait to hear uh, from you in the comment section below. And um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month of April. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to come by, by on the weekends and check out who the guests are and what time the uh, live podcast is being run and be a part of our chat. And I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.